when it comes to shoulder presses, most people only consider doing dumbbell shoulder presses, barbell shoulder presses, maybe using a Smith machine, and then the machine version of a shoulder press that's available in your gym. As far as cables go when it comes to training shoulders, most people only reserve cable exercises for raises, such as lateral raises, front raises, and rear delt flies. For some reason, few people consider using cables for shoulder presses. Why is that? It's probably because most people are afraid to think outside the box. You don't see many people doing these, so they must not be effective, right? Wrong. Remember, variety is key. Variety in your training program and variety in the exercises you use. And not just different exercises for a muscle group, but variety in the same exercise. For example, shoulder presses. You should use as many different versions of shoulder presses as possible. After all, those little tweaks, going from using a dumbbell to a barbell to a machine or a cable, allows you to have a slight change in the angle that you're utilizing for that exercise. And what happens when you change up the angle on an exercise, it allows you to target slightly different muscle fibers within that same muscle. And remember, a muscle is composed of thousands and thousands and thousands of muscle fibers. Do you think you're really utilizing all of the muscle fibers in your middle delt when you're doing a dumbbell shoulder press? No. But by changing up the different presses that you use, dumbbell presses, barbell presses, Smith machine presses, machine shoulder presses, and yes, even cable shoulder presses, allows you to hit as many different muscle fibers as possible. And when you instigate muscle growth and more of those muscle fibers, well guess what? You get greater overall muscle growth of that muscle. Let me show you how to do the cable shoulder press and why I like it. Now you're simply going to set up a D handle or stirrup handle on a low pulley. You don't have to set it up all the way out to the ground, however, if your pulley is not adjustable the way mine is, you can do this from the very lowest position. Attach your handle to the low pulley and then you're going to stand with your back facing away from the pulley. Now you want to line up your body so that the pulley is in line with the shoulder so that you're getting that line of pull directly in target with the shoulder joint. You want to step as far back as possible to have as much vertical resistance. The further out you go, the more the angle of the cable is going to change and the more horizontal resistance you get the further you step away from the pull. So step back as far as you can and then simply do your shoulder presses as you normally would. Now what I like about the cable shoulder press is that the line of pull is behind my body. What's that doing? It's allowing me to keep my elbow out to the side which helps me focus more on that middle deltoid head. And that middle deltoid head is the one that provides most of the roundness and width to the shoulders. So then you complete all reps on one side and then immediately switch to the other side and basically do the same thing. And another nice thing about doing one arm shoulder presses is that research has shown that it helps to utilize more of the core musculature. So not only are you building up big strong delts, but you're also strengthening your core. So there you have the cable shoulder press. Try it the next time you train shoulders.